Good day, everybody. We're in my living room, and this is middle of winter. Well, not the middle of winter, but it feels like it. It's uh, more like the early stages of winter, and I'm going to show you some of my citrus that I have growing. So here you can see my uh, lemon tree. This is a Meyer lemon tree. It's been doing fairly well uh, indoors. I brought all of my citrus in. I think just before Halloween, which would be the end of October. So now it's been around two months that everything's been indoors. Um, these look about grocery store, store size for Meyer lemon. Meyer lemons are a little smaller than your standard grocery store lemon, but when you do see them in the grocery store, grown commercially, they're around this size, so that's not too bad for that. Um, I have varying sizes of them. Yeah, I think they're looking fairly good. Uh, let's see what else I have here. This is my lime quat tree. This is a cross between a key lime and a kumquat. Cold tolerant, because kumquats are the most cold tolerant citrus for the most part. It's looking good. I've tried a couple of these. Um, they taste good. They taste, taste a lot like a key lime. Maybe a little bit sweeter, uh, but you know, I've only tried a couple, so my opinion of that may change. Uh, over here, I gotta pick these very soon. These are my navel oranges. I'm probably gonna be trying one of these later. Uh, it's growing fairly well, it's been growing straight up. Uh, it's not out of all of. Out of all of the citrus I'm growing, this is one of the only ones that's not really flowering at the moment. I, I think that these ones have kind of a later cycle, meaning that they're going to flower probably near the end of winter or uh, early spring. Whereas the lime quat, if you look closely, you can see it's going through another flowering cycle. Uh, it did flower also about a month ago. These are kind of like continuously flowering. Uh, you can see this little piece of fruit that's that's from some flowers that are maybe a month or two old. And uh, same with that one. Yeah, and then I have uh, this is about a year old of a Chinese bitter orange. So, it, I sort of grew it in my garden. It wasn't growing. I wasn't taking especially good care of it. I just had it growing right in with my Brussels sprouts and uh, left it just to see if it would, how well it would do. It, it did okay, it wasn't looking great. But then I brought it in, put it in proper uh, mixture of soil that you would uh, you know, want for citrus and uh, well draining soil. And it's actually doing pretty good. I think it's definitely gonna keep thriving and uh, get bigger. And I have a lack of space here, so I'm just kind of growing this right here by the window. What this is, um, one of my more recent videos, I started a kumquat from seed, and that's what that is. Uh, I guess it's been growing maybe two months. Looking good though. So I think I'll pick one of my navel oranges and just see what happens. Well, it came off easy. That usually is a sign that they're ready to pick. So I'm just going to try peeling this, see how it looks. Thick peel, as you normally get with a navel orange. I've eaten a lot of oranges, so I think I'm fairly good at peeling. Especially this trick I do where I mainly get it all off in almost one. I'll 
juicy, that's for sure. Let me bring you guys in for this. It's very juicy. A little messy. Very good. I mean, native oranges, they're all from the same originating tree, so I don't expect this one to taste, um, you know, way better than a normal one. But uh, it's definitely good. Uh, it's not really holding its shape like some of the ones. I think this one might be um, that I, I could have picked it a little earlier. But definitely very good. I call that success. Well, that was great. Thanks for watching.